Hey everybody, Chris Marikos here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a website that you can use to make money as fast as possible. Here's the task. We need to make a website and we don't know anything about websites. We don't know anything about code. We don't know anything about anything, right? So let's just start from the very beginning. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to bluehost.com or any other hosting website, but I highly recommend Bluehost. And we're gonna click on domains and we're gonna type in the domain that we want. And we're gonna check to make sure the domain we want is available before we commit to any uh, other name, right? Because the domain is going to really um, influence how we name ourselves. Usually the domain name is going to be the website name. So let's make sure the one we want is available. For example, I'm gonna search for teachingbusinesscatalyst.com because I know that that's already taken. I have that, that's the name of a coaching program where I help teachers set up a business. And I'm gonna search and it's gonna show me that this one's already taken and I can't buy that one. Right, so teachingbusinesscatalyst.net is available, but teachingbusinesscatalyst.com is unavailable. So let's try another one. Let's try teachingbusinesscoach.com. And we can see that teachingbusinesscoach.com is available, so we can buy it. And right here, we can buy that domain for one year for just $13. Uh, we can buy it for two years for $26. So um, then we can choose if we want privacy and protection or not. And that's really up to you. If you take away privacy, then people can see some information about you. So if there's a problem with the website, someone can contact you. And if they offer you anything else here, you don't need it, okay? They might offer you something and try to get you to buy something else. Just don't go for it. Proceed without. And we should come to the place where we need to enter our billing information. You're gonna fill that out and you're gonna make the payment right there. After you do that, you'll have an account. So let's go over to my account. And this is the part where a lot of people get confused because this is where it gets a little more technical and I'm gonna walk you through this process right now. So go to advanced and what we're really looking for is the file manager. So if you're using a different kind of program, you want to go to the file manager section, click in there and now it's gonna show you the inside of your website. It's gonna show you the inside of your account uh, with the hosting company and now you need to go to public HTML and if you have multiple websites then you need to find the website which is the one that you want to edit so in this case I want to edit I want to update my website that's called teachingbusinesscatalyst.com and let's just go over to teachingbusinesscatalyst.com right now so you can see what that looks like uh, it just has a random WordPress template. So if you go through Bluehost and you set up WordPress through Bluehost, then it'll give you something that looks like this. I mean, it'll have all of the pages and it'll have all of the pieces of a website here, uh, but it will not be completely filled out because you have to go in and do some work and update it. And it's gonna look weird <laughs> like it looks right now. So let's just remove that. So I don't need any of that and I can just remove it and I can put in all of the new files that I need right here. Okay, now that this directory is empty, I can start to upload the files that I need. And this is where we actually need to use another program before we come back here. We need to create an HTML file and a CSS file. Now, you might not know what that means and you don't really need to know what that means, but there are some files with code in them and we need to upload them here. So. In order to do this, we need to use a text editor. Now you might have WordPad on your computer or something like that, or Notepad, and that's fine, you can use that too, but it's gonna be a lot easier and a lot better if you use a special text editing program for code. And the one that I can recommend is called Sublime. You just go to this website and you can download it and it'll make things a lot easier. And after you've done that, you can just open a new file there and you can copy and paste the code that you see on this video. Now I'll include this code down below and I'll even include a link to download that file so it'll make it easier for you, but you're definitely not gonna want to just uh, upload the file that I give you because the file that I give you is for a different website. It's for this website. And this website, links to all of my things. So you don't wanna be giving me 
business. You want to be getting business yourself. You want to be getting uh, payments for your services yourself. So you'll definitely need to change some things and you'll want to put your picture there, not my picture. So I'll show you how to do all that right now. In the main directory of our website, we're going to create two folders. One is called CSS. This is where we're going to put a style sheet. The style sheet is going to be responsible for the style on our website. We'll talk more about that later. The second folder that we need to create is the IMG folder. This is where we'll put our images. Now, the IMG folder is where you want to add the photos that you're going to use on your website. And if you go over and you look at my website here, you can see that I have a photo up in the top and I've got a photo here in the middle. And then you can also see that I've got a photo at the bottom. And all of these photos are listed, that they're included in the folder IMG. Now, after you've added those photos to the IMG folder, we need to name them in a special way so that it works with the code that we're going to add. So the first photo that we add, we need to name avatar.jpg. And we need to add that to the image folder. So we'll just go into the image folder. We'll upload a photo. The first photo should be called avatar.jpg and the second one is background.jpg. And after you've uploaded those two photos to this folder, you can go back and we need to work on the index file, index.html. This is gonna be the main file for our one page website that we're creating. And over here, you can see that I've uh, given you the code to do this. So you can actually find the code for free and download it or just copy and paste it. And there's a link to do that under this video. And uh, this code is for this website. So. If we want to change something, we need to change it in this code. For example, first of all, it says English every day in the header. If we want to change that, then we need to go to this part that says header and we need to change this white text. This is what actually shows up there. So um, English every day, let's call this teaching business catalyst. Okay. Now, the second thing I wanna change is I want to make sure when somebody clicks the join now button, they get the link to buy my product, right? This teaching business catalyst product. I don't want them to buy this English everyday product that's on the other website. And so when you change it for your website, it's the same for you. You want to include the link where someone can go to pay for your product. So I open up the page where people can pay and I grab the link and I want to replace this URL right here. It will use this link that I've just put in. All right, so the next part is shop. Now you can change these other pieces of the header, right? It says shop, blog, and feedback. You can change what it says there by changing the white word here, the text that's in white. And then you can change where it links to. You can send them to another page or another website. So you can change that here. So one idea is you could just put a link to your Facebook page, to your YouTube channel, to your Instagram account, whatever. You could put that all right here and just change these words and that's what it will say at the top. Now maybe you have multiple products and you wanna send them to multiple uh, checkout pages, right? You could do that here. Or maybe you have a main website and this one page website can link back to your main website. You could do that here. In my case, the website that you see right now, the English Everyday website, it links back to my chrisamericoast.com website. So uh, it's connected to teaching English and uh, I sell those products over on that website. And that's why I have shop, blog, and feedback. And they just link right back over to my other website. But if you wanted to make multiple pages on your website, you could also do that. I mean, you could also use this code and basically just set up another page that looks very similar and you could navigate between these pages. So that's why it's called the navigation section. For our website that we're creating right now, the Teaching Business Catalyst website, I'm just gonna go ahead and link to some pages that are on that website where I sell that product. Okay, so now we have added uh, philosophy, free book, and free basic training, and they all have the correct links. 
So now we can move on to the main part of the page. Well, the biggest piece of the main part of the page is the hero. The hero of a web page is basically a big picture that has text or maybe text and a button and it's very clear and it's very easy for someone to understand what you want them to do. And that's what this image right here shows us. Now this is the background image. We named it background.jpg. And if we wanna change the text that we see on this page, then we need to go over and change it here. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna change it to teaching business catalyst. And that lets us go down to the next part of the page. So also on this page, I have embedded my scheduling link. And when you embed your scheduling link on your page, someone can view the different types of appointments that you offer, they can click. And if it's free, then they can book you. And if it's not free, then they can pay and then book you. So uh, it's really a good idea to put this on your one page website. And it makes that web page really actionable, especially if you don't have other products to sell yet, and you're just selling your time, then uh, this is a great place to start. So why not put it here, right? Grab the correct link and I put that over here. And I wanna replace where it says iframe and script. Excellent. And now I will show them only the type of appointment that I want them to be able to book. It's a $1 consultation about my $3,000 product where I coach people until they get the result. So I help them start a teaching business and coach them and coach them and coach them until they actually get a good return on their investment. And then after that too, it's a really cool program and I'm really happy of the results that we've got there. And that's why it's important that I use the right link so people can book the consultation for specifically that purpose. And then if we go down to the very bottom, we have the footer. And the footer part of the website has an image, which is the same avatar image that we used at the top. It's just formatted a little bit differently here. It has a different style. And then under that, we're going to put the name of our company. Now, if you don't have a company, then it's better just to use your name because you're basically doing business in your name if you're not doing business in the name of a company. So put your business name or the, the name that you use for business and by including this code here, by including this script, you'll actually have an updated year every year. So you don't have to come here and change the year every year. You don't have to remember that. It'll automatically do it for you. All right, awesome. So now we wanna make sure that we press save. And if you didn't change the title of the web page, then we need to do that up here too. So let's go ahead and change that to Teaching Business Catalyst. Great, and we'll save. And now we can actually upload this file and see the results. So let's go over to our file manager. And right here in the main directory of your website, not inside of the image folder, not inside the style folder, in the main directory, you want to upload this index.html file. Now, when you save the file, make sure that it was called index.html. It must be HTML. Okay, and now you should have that file right there. And now if we go over to teachingbusinesscatalyst.com, let's see what it looks like. Okay, it looks different than how we want it, right? Everything's bunched together and it doesn't look as nice as the other website, definitely. So this is what we were going for, right? Clearly separated header, navigation links. We have a big hero image with a title. We have nicely embedded scheduler and a nice footer down there and they're all clearly separated, right? Separate sections. So what's the problem over here? Well, the problem is that we haven't added any CSS. CSS is the style sheet for our website. It's going to give style. It's going to show the colors, the positions, the fonts and different things like this that will make your website look exactly how you want it. So under this video, you can find a link where you'll also be able to download the CSS file that you'll need and you'll be able to alter it and change it. And let's take a look at that right now. Open up that file or just copy and paste and what you'll have will look like this, style.css. And style.css 
is a file that will change how everything looks on our website. So first of all, if you wanna change the font, you can change that right here. And that's the font for the body. Each different section can have a different font if you want. But we're gonna keep things really, really simple right now. And you can see how everything is separated. Here's headers. For example, we want the color to be white. If we want to change the color of the text and make it a different color, then you would change that here. Also, the background color of this header is a color that we've chosen. And if we wanna change that, then we need to change that here. Now, you might be looking at the colors and saying, well, Chris, what is 222222 mean? And what is FFFFFF? And why don't they all just say white like the other one? If you need to find a color code and if you need to design something, I highly recommend using the website called canva.com. Canva is a great website that will let you create images. And so for example, over here, I have official colors that I use for each of my different brands and websites. And I can go to a folder and I can see what colors I've used before. So this blue color is probably what I want. So I'm gonna go over to this image that I created before. I have this blue circle that has my official blue color and I can click on add new color and it shows me what color I've already chosen right here. So I have this code. Now I can go over and I can change the code here. So I can change what the background color is going to be on that image. So I'm gonna just go ahead and change it to this color. The footer I think should be the same color as the header. So I'm gonna go ahead and add our blue color there. I could continue to play around with all of these settings and change different colors and fonts and, and words in different places, but I just need a website that can sell my product. So I wanna keep everything as simple as possible and just get the result. So I'm just gonna save this file, I'm gonna upload it, and we'll take a look at what the result is. And we want to upload this style.css file to the CSS folder. All right, so now that that file has been added, let's go back and let's reload the page and see what the update to our website looks like. Boom, it's basically exactly the same as the other website because I use the same images, but I changed the text all of these links go to the correct places. They don't go to the same uh, places the other website went. And if we go down to the bottom, you can see that we have this background color that we've chosen for this website. So that's how you make a one-page website super fast.